So did you know that there's five different questions that you can enter into ChatGPT for it to build an entire digital product business for you, even if you're a complete beginner? Most people don't know about this, but I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps in today's video. Now I'm someone that sold over seven figures worth of digital products over the past five years. So I truly believe that I'm one of the best people that's gonna be able to point you in the right direction. Now, of course, this video should not be taken as financial advice. I'm not saying that you're gonna be able to watch it and start making money straight away because things don't really work like that. There's always going to be work that's going to be required, but I'm a big believer in artificial intelligence and being able to pair it with the right side hustle because if you're able to do it right, again, you're gonna be able to put yourself on the path of being able to make money online even if you're someone that's completely new to it. Now, those of you that are wondering, Sam, why exactly would I even sell a digital product? I'm sure that most of you that are watching probably already know the reason why. There's so many different benefits to it. A digital product is something that you're able to build once. And if you're able to drive the right traffic to that product, you're gonna be able to keep selling it over and over again without having to pay manufacturing fees, shipping fees, import fees, so on and so forth. It's not something that's gonna happen overnight. It's not a get rich quick scheme, but it all comes down to knowing exactly how to build the the right product and how to get the right traffic. So we're gonna be talking about that in today's video. Again, it's gonna be done using five questions using ChatGPT. I've got the questions right here on this Google Doc. And by the way, if you wanna gain access to this, you're gonna be able to find it linked down below. It should be the top link in the description. So we're gonna start off with one of the first questions. I'm just gonna copy it just like this. And then I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT just like this. Don't worry, you don't need the plus account, pro account. You're gonna be able to use the free account. I'm just gonna paste it in there just like that. That. And what this question says is what are the top 10 digital products that are simplistic to make and sell as a beginner in 2026? As we enter into the new year, it's super important for you to get a firm understanding of the products that are selling well right now. So ChatGPT is gonna be able to give you this information. And from the 10 different products that it's gonna come back with, you're gonna be able to pick whichever one resonates with you. So let me click on enter and see exactly what it's able to say. Okay, so within one second or so, it's now come back with some suitable options. We've got things like eBooks, templates, social media templates, stock media, digital planners and journals, online mini courses. You know, the list goes on and on. And the reason why this step is really helpful is because it's gonna point out a product that you probably wasn't thinking about. Most people, when they think about digital products, they instantly think about eBooks. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because on this channel, I show you guys how you can build an eBook super quick, but there is many other ones and again, it's it's all about finding a product that sits well with you that you know that you're gonna be able to sell to the best of your ability. Now, the main type of digital products that I've sold over the past few years have been things like spreadsheets, online courses, eBooks, but today I'm gonna to be doing something slightly different. I'm gonna go with one that I've not really built before so that we can build it out together and see exactly what the process is going to look like. So I'm gonna go with this one over here, digital planners and journals. But of course, you're gonna pick whatever digital product you're happy to move forward with. So I'm gonna move forward with this one and I'm also going to move forward with the second question. So I'm gonna go back over to the Google Doc I'm going to copy it just like that. I'm gonna go back over to ChatGPT and then enter it in here just like this. And what this says is, can you scan the top 10 websites, not Etsy or any other marketplace that are selling these types of digital products? And I'm just going to paste it in there like that digital planners and journals, and also give me the estimated sales and traffic for each website. So this is where ChatGPT really stands out because as you guys already know, it's able to scan the internet and it's able to come back with real life information that's gonna be able to help us, specifically when it comes to knowing what other sites are doing and what's allowing them to be successful. For those of you that don't know my backstory, I'm someone that's built multiple different businesses over the years, ranging from e-commerce, digital products, you know, the list goes on, but, when I first got started, you know, I got stuck many, many times trying to figure out exactly how to break through to the position that I wanted to be in. And the one thing that allowed me to get to the point that I was always trying to get to was by looking at what someone else was doing and trying to replicate the blueprint for myself, for me to see success. One common mistake that I've seen so many people make is that they first start a side hustle and then they try and reinvent the wheel when what you should be doing is seeing someone else do exactly what you can envision yourself doing so that you have a proven blueprint that you're gonna be able to replicate. 
And that's why this step is really helpful because with this one, what you're now gonna be able to do is get all of these different active websites and you're also gonna get a breakdown of the traffic and the estimated revenue that they're bringing in. So as we can see over here, these are the names of all of the different websites. This is the estimated visitors, you know, how many estimated units or sales they're bringing in and the estimated money that they're making. So I'm gonna go with a random website. Let's go with this one over here called Dash Planner. Apparently they're getting over 20,000 visits or up to 70,000 visits per month. So I'm just gonna go over to their website right now. Okay, so this is the website that ChatGPT was able to give me. As you can see, it's super simple, super clean. This is the shop page. So they've got all of their digital products on the shop page so they don't have a home page and this is going to help them when it comes to conversions you know they've got digital notebooks they've also got the digital planners and they've got digital stickers as well and there's a lot that we can learn from a website like this you know they're also giving away free planners we can see at the top over here so someone can access this free planner and of course it's going to be a lead magnet that's going to lead that potential customer onto some of their paid planners and they've also got all of these freebies over here you can create an account and access their freebies and they've got a community as well but yeah the point of this question is just for you to get an insight into what other people are doing so that you can figure out what type of strategy you want to use for yourself but moving on to the third question to enter into chat gpt when it comes to building a digital product business which is to find the top 10 niches for the type of product that you want to sell. So I'm just gonna copy this question just like this, go back over to ChatGPT. And what I'm gonna do is just enter the question in there just like that and click on enter. And the importance of this question is for you to figure out exactly what type of product or what type of category you want to focus on. And the reason why I felt like this question was really important for me to show you guys is because so many students that I come across, so many people that I generally come across, Whenever they say, Sam, I'm selling a digital product and I ask them to show it to me because maybe they're not making any sales, it's always all over the place. I'm not able to specifically pinpoint exactly what they're focused on. And I would say in this era of trying to sell digital products, this is probably one of the most important things. People need to instantly see the product that you're selling and automatically know that it's something that's going to help them out. Because there's so many different people trying to sell digital products in this day and age, the one thing that's going to help you stand out initially is going to be the niche that you select. And one thing that's helping me with the different products that I'm selling right now as we speak is the fact that I've lasered down on the person that I'm trying to target. So whenever I'm selling my digital products, it's gonna be a lot more easier. But it's very important that whatever niche that you decide to move forward with, it's gonna be a niche that number one, you have experience in, number two, you're passionate about, and number three, it has the potential to make profit. So asking ChatGPT this question is definitely important because it's gonna come back with all of these different niches, you know, things that, again, you might have not have been thinking about. Things like productivity, health and wellness, student, academic planning, mums, family planning, the list goes on and on. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I would personally do when it comes to building out a digital product business with this category over here, side hustle organizers. Bear in mind that I'm going to also show you how I would build a digital planner slash journal as well. So this is the one that I'm gonna move forward with. And this brings me on to one of the next questions. So if I just go back over to the Google doc, question number four is give me a detailed prompt for hosting horizons to build a fully interactive website that also includes this particular digital product that will be fully functional behind the paywall on the website. So if I just copy it like that, go back over to chat GPT, paste it in there like this. And what I'm gonna do is just this one like this that and I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to click on enter and then I'm going to click on enter and I'm going to wait for it to do its thing now for those of you that's not really sure of exactly what horizons is it's a really powerful platform that not that many people know about yet I've been using it recently and if you're able to combine chat GPT with horizons you're going to be able to not only get your website built really quick but you're also going to be able to get a digital product built as well to my knowledge this is one of the only platforms that's able to do exactly what it's able to do and in a moment i'm going to show you exactly how powerful it is i'm just going to wait for chat gpt to finish creating this prompt okay so this is the prompt right here i'm just going to copy it just like this and then i'm going to head over to horizons and this is what the interface 
interface is going to look like. Now, if you want to gain access to it, I'm going to leave it down below. Anyone is able to check it out. And again, the way that it works is that you can build a beautiful website, web applications just by chatting with AI. And for you to come up with the prompt yourself, you can, you know, do it right here. You can type it out, whatever you're looking to build. But if you want ChatGPT to assist you, you could just paste the prompt that it gave you in there just like that and then simply click on enter. And as you guys can see right here, what Horizons is doing is it's writing the code for the website. So you don't have to deal with any code. You don't have to deal with, you know, building the website from scratch. The only thing you need to do is give it the details for the website that you're looking to build as well as the digital product. And Horizons is gonna be able to do the majority of the work. So you don't need to go to one platform to get your website built and then another platform for you to get the product made, everything, well, 99% of the work is gonna be done directly on this platform. So I'm gonna wait for it to finish. And as soon as it's done, I'm gonna show you exactly what it was able to build. Okay guys, so I'm back and I talk about five minutes and I would say that that's fairly quick for what it was able to do. So if I just make this full screen so that you guys can get a better look. Okay, so this is the website that it was able to build. As you guys can see, it's got the footer menu, it's got the header menu, Everything you can see on the screen was built with the prompt that I got from ChatGPT. We can see that it's a one product store. It's got this main digital product, which is this side hustle organizer. They're selling for $29. And if you want to make any changes to this website, there's two main ways that you can do that. If you want to update the price, if you want to update any of these texts, you know, the image, it could be done if you click on edit content. There's going to be some things that you can update. For example, the image, the name of the business, the headings over here, but anything you can't edit by clicking on edit content, it's going to be done directly through the chat. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, when it comes to this AI, you know, it works in such an advanced way because you can enter something very specific, very advanced, and it's going to be able to do it, you know, 99% of the time, correct. So you don't have to go back and forth with any change that you want to make. For example, if I wanted to make a change right now, let's say if I wanted to update the website so that it goes from a green and white theme to let's say a blue and white theme. I'm going to be able to easily do that by coming over here and entering in this prompt. So I've given it the information as to the color scheme that I want to update. And I've also told it that I want to update the price from $29 to $39. So a simple prompt like this is going to be able to do it. So let me just click on enter. And just like that, it was able to do it. It's gone from a green theme to a blue theme, just like that. And any change like this can be made. For example, if you wanted to change the language on the entire website from English to Spanish, it's gonna be able to do that with a simple prompt once again, because Horizon supports over 80 different languages. So really powerful tool. Let me just quickly make it full screen once again. I wanna show you the digital product that it was able to make. So when someone lands on this website, and they wanna buy it, they're gonna be able to add it to cart. Instantly, we can see that a payment page has already been integrated and this is also going to be connected to your Stripe account. So when someone goes onto it, they wanna purchase your digital product, they're gonna enter their card details, they're gonna make payment. The money's gonna be deposited into your Stripe account and then from there, it's now going to be transferred into your bank account. And once a person does make payment and they get access to the actual digital product, remember it's a digital planner slash journal when it comes to helping people organize their side hustles. Just an example guys, but this is the product that it was able to build. So from here, the person's going to be able to click into it. They're going to be able to use it as a daily journal so they can insert what they were able to do on the specific day, the wins of the day, the challenge they faced, new ideas, people they connected with, key metrics. All of these are just examples. You can ask Horizons to update anything. You can ask Horizons to completely change the entire design. But even something like this is good enough when it comes to being sold. And if you want to add any other types of products so that it's not necessarily a one product store, but you've got multiple different digital products, you're also going to be able to do that with a simple prompt as well. So think about it, guys. In this video, you saw me go from not knowing what product I want to sell to using ChatGPT to give me some good ideas, to then using ChatGPT to give me a prompt to build an entire website as well as the actual product with the help of Horizons. And from this point, if I was completely happy with this website, I've gone through everything, 
I've made all of the changes that I want to make. And I've also made sure to click on integrations and register with Superbase. By the way, for those of you that don't know what this is, this allows all of your customers, your users to create user sign up login information so that they can create an account and manage their different digital products on the back end. So it's a great way for you to retain your customers because they're going to create an account. You're now going to be able to capture their email. And with that email, you can now add them into an email list, which is going to put you in a great position when it comes to being able to communicate with your customers whenever you want to let them know about any additional products. So once you've gone through all of that, you've integrated Stripe, You've also used the online store feature if you want to manage all of the different digital products as well as Superbase. You're now going to be able to make the site go live by clicking on publish. And what Horizon is going to do is that they're going to give you a temporary URL link that you can use as you want to. Or what you can do is connect a custom domain and if it's your first time using Horizons and you've just created an account, you're going to be able to get the domain for completely free. So yeah, this is definitely a powerful tool to check out. I'm going to leave all the necessary information in my description down below, as well as the coupon code that's going to give you an additional 10% discount. So if you wanted to get your one person AI business up and running in the most simplistic way with the least amount of risk, I would recommend using Horizons because they also come back with a 30 day money back guarantee. But whatever the case is, guys, you're going to be able to find all the information in the description down below but this now brings me on to one of the final questions that you're going to input into chat gpt when it comes to doing everything that we've discussed so far and it's probably a common question that i know most of you are probably thinking about right now which is sam once i've got my site up and running thank you so much for showing us this by the way you know this is amazing but once i've got my site up and running how exactly am i going to get potential customers onto it and this is definitely a really Really good question an important question and it leads me on to the fifth question that we're going to enter into chat gpt which is a simple one and all this says is now give me a full marketing plan for this website for me to get traffic in the most simplistic way so this is a method of using chat gpt that not that many people are doing in my opinion i would say that most people use chat gpt for everyday questions you know lifestyle questions cooking recipes i don't know you know people use chat gpt for whatever they want but using it when it comes to a marketing plan is definitely going to help you out i've used it in some simple ways that you probably think wouldn't work but i've been able to generate thousands of dollars and if you're a beginner you're going to be able to just enter the prompt or the question in there just like this and because it already knows exactly what you're trying to do you're now going to be able to get somewhat of an idea as to which marketing method is going to work for the different digital products that you're thinking about selling because as you can see it's going to come back with phase one what to do you know in your first week and then phase two in the second to fourth week, phase three, what you need to do, the softwares that you need to use, the best way to do it, and you're now gonna be able to pick and choose which option is best for you. In my personal opinion, I would say that the best approach to take is gonna be a hybrid model of organic and paid. At this moment in time, I'm personally doing 70% organic, 30% paid ads. And this puts me in a really good position because with organic content, you don't have to pay a lot of money. And with the money that I do make from that, I'm now able to reinvest it back into paid ads for me to continuously keep increasing my growth. So yeah, there is a lot that goes into this and I'm not going to be able to break it down in a simple video. I just wanted to go through five questions to input into ChatGPT to get you guys thinking. But if you wanted me to make a detailed video showing you exactly how to get traffic using organic methods, just put in the comments down below, do the organic traffic video and make sure that you also put your location as well so that I know that you guys are interested in that video and I'll be sure to make it ASAP and tailor it based on your specific location. But other than that, if you've enjoyed this video, you've learned anything from it, you've got any sort of value from it, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. If you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where I break down some other interesting ways that you can use AI to help you start a side hustle, as long as you've got a laptop and an internet connection, this video is definitely going to help you out. You're going to be able to watch that by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this. It's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's going to be able to help you out too. But other than that, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.